Drogon and his brothers fly ahead of their mother as she lands on Dragonstone. They investigate the island as Daenerys enters and secures the castle. Upon Jon Snow's arrival at Dragonstone, Drogon and his brothers fly overhead, startling and frightening both him and Davos. Tyrion then comments that he himself has not yet become used to them either. Later, Daenerys, frustrated at her losses, takes Drogon, along with a massive Dothraki horde, to the Reach in a surprise attack on the Lannister forces. The Lannisters are completely unprepared for a combined assault from Dothraki cavalry and dragonfire and are quickly overpowered. At Daenerys's command, Drogon breathes a massive torrent of fire straight through the Lannister ranks from front to back. The Lannister archers attempt to shoot Daenerys off his back, but he banks up, and the arrows bounce harmlessly off his armored underside. Suddenly, a massive scorpion bolt whizzes past Drogon, startling Daenerys. She looks down to see the scorpion itself, as Bronn reloads it. Drogon sees it too, and charges across the battlefield, but Bronn fires a second bolt straight into Drogon's shoulder. With a screech of agony, he plummets towards the ground in freefall, with Daenerys struggling to hold on. However, although the bolt previously punched through a dragon skull, this time, being fired upwards and from a larger distance, it only manages to inflict a flesh wound on its target. Drogon manages to pull himself together before hitting the ground. He hovers in the air right in front of Bronn, who leaps out of the way as the enraged dragon incinerates the scorpion with his fire. He then lands on the battlefield and roars, smashing the remains of the wagon that had the scorpion with a powerful swipe of his tail. Daenerys then dismounts and attempts to remove the scorpion bolt embedded in Drogon's shoulder. Despite being a superficial wound, Drogon howls in pain and fury as his mother tries to pull out the bolt. Suddenly, Daenerys sees Jaime charging towards her with a spear in his hand, hoping to kill her then and there. Unfortunately for Jaime, Drogon sees him too. Shielding Daenerys behind his head, he breathes fire at the charging Jaime, who is saved from certain death when Bronn tackles him off his horse and into the river. In the aftermath of the battle, Drogon rests on a small hill looking over the surviving Lannister and Tarly soldiers brought before his mother. Daenerys offers the remaining men a choice, kneel or die. When most of them refuse, Drogon, as if annoyed by this, roars, frightening many more into bending the knee. After Randall Tarly and his son Dickon choose death over following Daenerys, Drogon burns them alive, causing the rest of the surviving soldiers to instantly kneel in fear. Daenerys returns to Dragonstone while riding Drogon. Jon watches as they land and remain stoic, even after Drogon roars. Sensing something in Jon, his Targaryen ancestry, Drogon allows the king in the north to get close enough to pet him, much to Daenerys's surprise. After Daenerys dismounts him, Drogon joins his brothers in the skies above Dragonstone. Daenerys remarks how beautiful they are, and though Jon admits that's not the word he'd use, but upon seeing her look, concedes their, gorgeous beasts, Daenerys is quick to remind him they are her children. Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion accompany Daenerys to rescue Jon Snow and company beyond the wall, burning many whites in the process. As Daenerys lands Drogon on the small island where Jon and his company have taken refuge, Viserion is struck in the neck by an icy javelin, courtesy of the Night King, and is brought down, crashing through the frozen lake. Drogon and Rhaegal cry out for the dying brother but can do nothing to help him. Jon is then left behind as Drogon takes to the air, narrowly avoiding a second ice spear from the Night King. When Daenerys goes to parley with the Lannisters in King's Landing, she rides Drogon to the Dragon Pit in a show of force. 